All right, Zoe. Megan. Megan. Mm. I thought your name was Zoe. My name was Zoe on the streets. Okay. It's Megan, legitimately. So you want to use Megan from now on? We can use Megan from here for us, and Zoe is a uh, time of the past. <laughs> okay. There you go. What's up? How you doing? Better and better. That's good. Always. Are you living on this side of town? I now? did move. I did move. I moved to a better side of town. Yeah, absolutely. Where are you staying at? Cactus Inn, 43rd. At this hotel or what? No, Cactus 43rd in the house. I'm helping a disabled woman. Okay. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. so they're disabled? Yeah. And, and I you just clean up well, the house? Well, she paid me $500 to clean her house, and then um, yeah, now I take care of her because she has getting a hip replacement. Yeah. Yeah, works out. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. So what's up? Last time you told me that you were going to college. You were I am. I'm getting my BS in Human Resource Management. I'm going to SNHU, which is actually a pretty good school, guys. SNHU. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm getting my BS in Human Resource Management. I'm getting my student loan money in three days, buying a SUV and getting a new phone. Oh, so you got a student loan? Yeah. How much was that? Well, I'm getting tomorrow. I mean, in three days, I'm going to get like 1568 Okay. So I'm going to buy a new What's car. What's the total? All together? Yeah. For what I'm getting fitted from our school, for my loans. school loan. Um, probably I think like a uh, thirteen. Okay. I think like seven. Or I'm getting seven grand. That seven whatever you get initially, and then they got me two payments for right now of one fifty sixty eight, one fifty sixty seven. Is so it hard to like qualify for a student loan? No, absolutely not. It's my second student loan. My second okay. time. Yeah, it's really easy to get student loans. The first what did one. you use the first one for? Um, I actually went to an AIU. Don't ever go there. It's a fraudulent school. It's non accredited and um. That's, I went through the school there for five weeks, and then I found out they were not accredited. Red flags kept popping up, you know, and then, um, yeah, so I quit that school. Kind of got me discouraged for a little bit. It took me like eight months or so, and I got back in, back in school now. AIU. What a is that stand American for? International Intercontinental University, and it's fraudulent. Do not go to that school. It is not accredited. And now you're going to which one? Um, SNHU, uh, uh, Southern New Hampshire University. Yeah, they, they show it on the commercials, so yeah. New Hampshire. Southern New Hampshire University. How do you do that? Online. Oh, online. Yeah, it's really good though. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna get my BS in human resource management, so I get to be a boss bitch behind the scenes. That's good. Right? Yeah, you get to run the company, you know, low key. So, <laughs> so you're just gonna be on the computers all day. Well, honestly, like, um, not necessarily. You have to do like, you know, help them um, when they get they get sued and stuff like that. You also have to help with uh, the employees between the, you know disputes and shit like that. You help the company not get you know fucked yeah. over pretty much. And then, um, <coughs> excuse me. And then, uh, yeah, you pretty much run the company behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's good, man. Yeah. It, well, the minimum payment is one twenty-six thousand a year, hundred twenty-six thousand a year. So it's minimum, and I can work from every um, um, company in, in the United States of America has um, HR, you know, so yeah. human resources. So I can get a job from here to here, depending, you know, how hard I work for it. So yeah, man. Absolutely, yeah. That's good. You're doing really good. I'm getting better and better, and then I'm gonna get my car in three days. I'm stoked. Yeah. What kind yeah. of car are you getting? Some type of SUV. I like SUVs. Yeah, but nothing too gas guzzling. But like, my last one was a Hyundai Tucson. I like that one. So. Yeah, you better not get like a Chevy. Like oh a hell no! No, no, I'm gonna get some. Putting gas in that thing every. More like every a, like one, one of those little hybrid SUVs. You know, it's like bigger than a car, but not quite a van kind of thing. You, don't you know what I mean? Break down, you better go with a Toyota. Toyota. There. Yeah, I like Jeep too. I love Jeeps. Toyotas are the best. I don't know. About Toyotas Jeeps. are good to fix. Toyotas are good to fix. Easy to fix. That's yeah. what's about about Toyotas. Yes, but no, uh, Toyotas you never have to fix. Right, their quality. But Jeeps, I don't know about Jeeps. I only like Jeeps because I, I got a rollover car accident, so I like Jeeps because they have roll cages in them. All Jeeps have roll, cage, roll cages they? in them. Yeah, yeah. I heard they break down a lot, though. Maybe I got to look into it more. Yeah. more so I'm going to do some more research on it, though, yeah, before you I buy one. do your research. Cause my last car, the transmission went out, so, and then my sugar daddy was going to uh, get it towed for me. Never did. It got impounded, so I lost that one. So. The last thing you want to do is get a brand new car and then have to repair it every Yeah, exactly, every exactly, yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm doing good. I'm doing better. I'm just succeeding and, you know, setting goals and reaching them. That's good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Did you see the, um, all the comments? On um, my last video? ones? Yes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for being so positive. Okay. And I appreciate it. Thank you. So yes. they were better than the one from before that? The first one wasn't bad either. The first one wasn't too bad either. A couple of people had comments about my um, doing adoption with my children. But, I mean, I gave a family. I gave someone a family. Like, I did something beautiful for these people. Yeah. It's not that I didn't want my children. It's that I wasn't um, prepared to take care of them correctly. So, mm. I, did, I didn't get an abortion. I did the next best thing for them and gave them a, a great life, you know? Give them a chance, right? Give them a great life. Yeah. They're going to have a beautiful life. They're, they already are. They're together. My son and daughter are have the same mom and dad and they're doing great. What do you think about abortion and all that? Um, so my last two pregnancies, I didn't think about it for a minute. Um, it wasn't something I could bring myself to, but um, I think it's every woman's choice because sometimes it's not the right time to have a baby. I mean, I've done plan B, I've taken a plan B pill because yeah. this guy that I was dating, he shot me with a 22 when I was pregnant with my uh, son. And like, 
accidentally <laughs> and uh, he's just high as hell so just careless and so he wanted she was trying to get me pregnant I said the hell you are and I made him give me half the money for it and I went and got a plan B pill but I think that's more responsible than it is to quite get an abortion but again my first pregnancy I didn't know I was pregnant until I was 12 weeks long mm -hmm. so there's things that happen you know what I mean you don't know I was real young I was 18 I, I mean gave birth to her I had five kids but still um there's I mean it's every woman's choice there's, everybody has a reason I don't think anybody yeah. should be judged on that or pressured or criticized or anything for that I mean you it's it's you're not a woman see I mean women have that choice like it's a lot to take care take on a child it's a lot to bring somebody into the world and you got to be prepared to be a good person to make them a good person to society and everything you know but, but I am a dad you are a dad and but you if I leave somebody pregnant I'm like hey just give me the, the kid yeah Don't my brother my brother was the same way my brother was the same way yeah, yeah. my brother's I'm actually my brother's um, ex-girlfriend got a 20 at 26 weeks along she got a partial birth abortion so my brother begged her to keep the baby, and she wanted to just drink alcohol. At least she, did, you know, got an abortion before she started drinking heavily. But I don't think it would have mattered either way. But the 26 weeks along, she got an abortion. They they bore the baby a little bit, and they scramble its neck here, back of, yeah. cut the thing, in and then kill it. So pretty hardcore. Can't wait to find that bitch. <laughs> you know, my brother has a beautiful son though now. Beautiful son. Yeah, he's with his wife, he's just doing great. So he's found out he had cancer though, but he's doing well otherwise. Was your brother? Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, my mom died two years ago, so that's the last time I seen my brother. What's your mom pass away from? COVID. Okay. COVID, she got COVID, yeah. COVID's a bitch. But she had COPD, she was overweight. She yeah. was, you know, sleep apnea. So it just didn't help the breathing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but my daughter's a little angry at me because she was there when she had to call the paramedics for my mom. So let her be angry. She has plenty of reason to be angry, so I'm just going to wait for her to come around. So by the time I'm 35, I have some goals set. By the time I'm 35, I'm going to be completely sober. That means no marijuana, no nothing. I wanted like to coffee, trade coffee for cigarettes, you know, and then um, I'm gonna be completely sober, I'm gonna be completely stable, and I'm gonna have a stable income, and I'm going to have a stable place to live. That's I have a place enough. to live now, but it's not really, it's a house, not a home. So I'm, I'm waiting to, I'm not homeless, I'm houseless. I mean, I'm not houseless, I'm homeless, <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you still yeah. reading them self-help books? Every day, all the time. Anytime I feel like I'm getting off track, or I feel like I've skipped a step, I just, when I get a grip and stamp, stamp into stamp back into it, I just start reading my books. So it gets me back on track. So if like another big thing I do is I make a priority list, whether it's give my dog a bath, cut my toenails, fucking um, buying a car, going to school. Like I make a priority list of everything I got to do, even if it's washing the dishes today, you know, doing laundry, or even big goals for further out that you know, like buying a house and stuff like that. I write them all down on one list, and then I give myself three three um, priority levels, you know what I mean? And what's most my biggest priorities, and then I give myself, you know, that needs to be done next, and then things that can be done when I have the time. And I just try to stay on track on that, just keep my priorities good. Just gotta, the biggest thing is you just gotta give yourself a time limit so you can be held accountable, you know what I mean? Do you have any recommendations on self-help books? Um, yeah, emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is big. Um, also, um, Books about focusing. Like sometimes everybody doesn't know how to like do in, but that's why what, what I've been doing the priority list. I made myself a priority list from the smallest things I have to do to the biggest things I have to do. Gave myself a, a realistic time frame, and I just accomplish it. I mean, it's not hard, and people need to stop trying to convince themselves they don't know what to do because we all do know what to do. We give ourselves as many options as we ha as we want. You know what I mean? Because there's there we're in America. There's so much help out there. It's just how willing you are to, to accept that help and make changes. You know what yeah, I mean? Because we have, we have so many options out there for help, so people can't say they don't know what to do. Because people are right here in our faces saying, here, we will help you, we'll do it for you, we'll just let us help you, let us, let us guide you, you know? So there's no reason, there's, there's help out there. So there's no reason people need to be torturing themselves like this and going through all this anguish. So just be willing to accept some help. Because yeah. I'm by myself, I'm completely by myself. I don't have any family out here. I don't have anybody to lean on. I don't have any backup or safety nets. So that's why, again, that's why I wanted to, even when I was working on the streets, I gave myself um, time limits when I'd work, so that I felt like stable. I would go to work at certain times and I'd come home at certain times. That way I felt like I had a stable schedule, you know, and that's how I started. And now now I just, like I said, my, my priorities, my priorities give me, my, give me um, my direction, you know? Set, make a priority list, like I said, the smallest, the biggest thing you gotta do, but the most important to least important when you have time to do it, and just try to stay on track. And, when you, and don't be discouraged when you get off track because, I mean, you can always get back on it, you know? You can always get back on track. It's all, st all about how bad you want it. So anything we want, truly want in life, whether it's, when it's, whether it's a house, whether it's to how high your standards are. Like, I, w I was on the streets one day, like, but you know, like everybody else is out here. But my standards, I layers my standards. Like, I'm gonna have a restroom to use every morning when I wake up. I'm gonna have a roof over my head every night. I'm gonna be in the house by nine o'clock every night. You know, have nowhere I'm gonna sleep by no later than eleven. You know what I mean? So it's just I raise my standards. I wanted more, so that's why I have more. It's just about that, and everybody just wants to lower the standards. Like, I got my because I'm content, but. Shit, even when I was using heavily, like, I had and more. I had my, because I want it all. And I say, you know, and as long as I work for it, I'll have it all. So, 
Yeah. Hmm. We're not doing anything with our time, but just sitting here hanging, hanging out. So what the fuck? Do something with it. I can't stand wasting time just hanging out. These people don't can't fill my time, or it's not feeling. You know what I mean? So I just rather go out there and do something with myself. You can use it and still accomplish things. I mean, if you're not ready to quit, so. I mean, I did for a while until I was ready to start, you know, slowing down and tapering off. I mean, it's not hard. I mean, it is hard if you don't want it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because everything we have right now, we truly, we, we, we truly want, we have. You know, like all these people, they just want that's their comes from in a little company, so they're content with where they are right now. So, yeah. like I said, I want more. Because I mean, I'm going to have more. Yeah. I want it all. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I deserve it all. So why not? You'll, do it, you'll accomplish it. Absolutely, as long as they don't stop trying. All right, well. Hey man, thank you for this update. I really do appreciate it. Are you okay if I post it up on my YouTube channel? Absolutely. And if anybody wants to reach out to you, hit me up on my Cash help, App. Hit me up on my Cash App. It's um, Money Mail uh, 89. So M O N E Y M A I L 89. And that's my Cash App. So hit me up. All the help where it helps. So thank you. All right. Thank you.